All in the Seasoning, Chapter 5 It's been a long time now since the human girl first cooked for me. She's gone from looking thin and pale to full and hearty. Even now and then, though, she gets this sad look on her face, and it breaks my heart to see her like that. Oh, look! A potato! We used to grow these in my village. They're really tasty. They are? Well, around here they grow all over the place. Can I take a bunch of them then? You can do so much with potatoes. Take as many as you like. I'm excited to try some new cooking. <laughs> now what should we make with them? They're not bad on their own, but we could steam them or mash them. Hey, do you want to go back to your village? Hmm, what makes you ask that? I guess I would like to go back and see everyone again, but... But I'd get lonely without you, my god. You would? Of course I would. I really care about you. You miss your parents though, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'd love to see my mom and my dad again. But is there some way for me to go back? Uh, I... I'm sorry. I don't know about that any more than you do. Yeah, so, it's not worth thinking about it, is it? I'm lonely, but there is no point in worrying about that. But there is no point in worrying about that unless we do find a way back. Yeah, you're right. I've always wanted to be the one to look out for her. And yet, when did she grow up so much? That's when I realized the fog was everywhere. Huh? Where'd all this fog come from? Quick, this way! You shouldn't be out on your own in the fog. Mom? What is it? What is it? Do you see something? It's... My mom. She... is crying. She's looking for me, but she can't find me. She's there. In the fog. Oh. And I can... I can hear her crying. In the fog? I can't see or hear anything. But now the girl's crying. Please, my god. I want to go see my mom. I miss her so much. Value. Then, go see her. If you miss her that much, you should go to her. Oh, thank you. Don't worry. I'll come back to see you again. Right. I'll be waiting for you. I stayed right where I was, watching her run into the fog, until I couldn't see her anymore. I guess humans really do belong in the human world. That must be why those giant hands reached out to draw her in. I don't understand why I hurt so much. Didn't I do the right thing? I hope that... I hope that girl is happy with her mother. I hope I get to see her again. For some reason, after the girl vanished into the fog, my body started to break down into little pieces. Even though... Even though I was the one who was just watching. My last thought, as I felt myself fading away, was to wonder if the girl made it back safely.